Uh huh. Chapter seven. Oh, this is it. Uh, yeah. Don't feed the troll. What? Um. What's going on? Get you, bitch! Oh, fuck you! Susan, where are you through the field again? Um, and what was with Crow's dancing doll popping in for a visit and to freak me the fuck out? Midnight, I guess. Yep. It's midnight. And there are the kitties. We should have brought them along. They took out that one guy. Maybe they can take out the eye of Adam if he pulls any shit. No. Get, get the cats. Get the cats so you have reinforcements. Make him eat the eye of Adam. If they eat the other guy. Because that was awesome. Okay, so... Where's this old man? What the hell? Fish tank. Stop us. I think there's someone in the kitchen. It's the old man. Are you... Are you Adam? Me? No, of course not. I don't have anything to do with all this foolishness. Never have. It's name? my son. I've told him time and time again, but he never listens. Son. I've done my best to protect that boy, you know. I'm all he's got left in the world since his mama died, but it just wasn't enough. What? Where is he then? Where's I of Adam? He's in his room. Where else would he be? Uh. He's always in his room, staring at that screen for as long as he can. Look, I've made up my mind about this. I want to help you. This mess he's in, it's gone too far. I don't, I, I can't be part of this. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't understand. He's watching us. Right now, he can see us on his camera. He's very clever with this stuff. I never got my head around it. Just as much as I needed to, I guess. But not a lot. Give us the key to his room. I want to talk to him. Look, it's a trap. He knows why you're here. And he will kill you. Both of you. But he will not kill me. He won't dare. All these years. I've looked after him well. He owes me everything. It breaks my heart to do this now. But what choice do I have? He left me this. I was supposed to keep it for myself. But I want you to take it. What he won't mean? dare to kill his own father. I won't let two innocent lives be lost because of him. What is it? Just take the damn thing. There's not much time. Didn't you hear me? He's watching. A box? Okay. Uh, take it. What's in the box? 
What is it, Mrs. A? It's a shoebox. Take it away! Get rid of it! He must see that I don't have it anymore! Okay. Shall we open it? What is it? We still have the burger. <laughs> well, what's in the box? It. Oh, God. Oh, no. Mitzi, we have to get out of here. Quickly. Fuck. It's a gas mask. The gas he... He's going to poison us. The gas he poisoned people with. The fucking fish tank that was rigged. Ah, oh, fuck. It's too late, isn't it? Fuck. Gassing us. Shit. We can't go back through. They don't. Fuck. Gas. Wait, one gas mask. Fuck. It's too late! Shit. Oh. Shit. 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 No! Stop that, Adam! You're going to kill your father! Apparently. We'll never make it to the door. That room is filling up with gas too quickly. Shit. Be here in no time. Put the mask on, Mrs. A. What? What about you? No, no, I can't. You've got to. This is your only chance. I. No, I can't let you die. Not like this. It's my fault that you're here. I'm dying anyway. And you. You've got to live, Mrs. A. You'll live and you'll be happy again. You are. You've been a great friend, Mrs. A. You take the fucking mask. No. You've got a date, and I'll make sure you turn up for it. I can't. There is no time to argue. I'll be fine. Now. Do it! She'll be fine. She's immortal. She'll just go back to the Deadlands. I'll have to do all the more freaky shit. I'm in a forest, in a field, field of forest. Welcome home, darling. Shit. I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? Say what you've got to say and let's finish this. I'm tired of you. Tired of all this madness. I just need to get back. Very well. I'm not planning to keep you long. Let's go inside. I have one last job for you. Does it involve breaking your face? Because I could get really behind that. 
There are still two candles left, Susan. You know how this works. A soul for a soul. And that's it. I blow out the last candle, and I'll never have to see you again. Only if you blow out the right one, I'll never bother you again. What? Isn't that what you want? But if you choose wrong, it will be your life extinguished forever. Fuck. Just take a deep breath and do it. But how should I know which one's right? That's the thing, Susan. You can't know that. Fuck. In life, you can't always know the consequences before you make a decision. Haven't you learned that yet? That's not fair. Nothing is fair. You opened your heart talking to that doctor and he butchered you like an animal. Then, those disgusting cannibals, they chop you up and cook you for dinner if you'd let them. And what about the man with the flowers? All that he wanted was to hear you play before he split your skull open. The way your husband treated you, the way your neighbors laughed at you for years, just for being different. You did not deserve all that, and yet, it happened. Am I forgetting something? Oh yes, of course. Most of all, was it fair that... Shut up! Just shut up, you ugly bitch! Now I know who you really are. All those feelings that I had in me for years. That bitter guilt and self-pity. That hatred for myself and everyone else. You are that miserable illness that's consumed my heart all these years. You, always there. Every day I looked at you in the mirror, like a dark cloud I couldn't see through. I let you take control of my life. I believed it was right to feel like this. But not any longer. This ends here. Then blow out the candle. She's the illness. She's like depression. And she's depression. I'm not gonna listen to a goddamn thing you have to say. No, I won't. I'm done playing your stupid little games. Damn right. You won't tell me what to do anymore. I am stronger than you. So piss off. I can close my eyes, and you'll be gone. Blow out the candle! It's time to say goodbye, sister. Fuck you. I'm not gonna miss you. You will never leave this place without me! You need me! We are one! No. Tomato. You were thinking about a tomato, right? You said vegetable, tomatoes are fruit. Also, we kicked depression's ass. <laughs> Tomato is a fruit, silly. Thank you, Mitzi. Who cares? I like tomatoes. So do I. But... I hate to disappoint you, but I was really thinking of onions. Why onions? They're the saddest of the vegetables, of course. They make people cry. I... What happened, Mrs. A? I saw you die. And yet, 
you're here. Alive, like if nothing's ever happened. Well, let's put it this way. Everyone knows cats have nine lives. So do cat ladies, apparently. <laughs> but this time, I feel there won't be second chances. Shit. I'm down to one last, li one last life now. I can't afford to waste it. No, why did the audio you skip are such a person? nutter, Mrs. A. You are absolutely fucking bonkers. You're telling me. But I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> Never, ever do that to me again, all right? I can happily promise you that, Mitzi. Let's go deal with Adam. This is it. His room is through that door. It's time to face the eye of Adam. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. Face the eye, and then poke it. Poke it with a burger. We're coming for you, you son of a Avast bitch. virus database has been updated. Oh, fuck you, Avast. No, it's not the fucking time. Uh. You're, you're the eye of Adam. Hello. A pathetic. Wheelchair bound invalid? Is this a joke? Do you. Do you know who I am? Do you know what you've done to me? Whoa! You fucking murderer! Tonight it's your turn to die. Um. I'm gonna paint this room with your brains and I'm gonna watch and smile. I swear to God I'll do it. Well, nothing to say, nothing at all. Aren't you going to beg for your sad little life? Uh, say something, anything. Hang on, M Mitzi, don't do it. Mitzi, no. Mitzi, where did you get that gun from? It doesn't matter. Please, Mrs. A, this is something I have to do. You are free to leave if you want. You don't have to be a part of it. Just try to understand. Oh, n no, Mitzi, don't fucking Beg do it. Beg for forgiveness, you scum. What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't believe I'm gonna shoot you, do you? Don't. Oh, I've dreamt of this moment for so long. No, I'm having fucking. Look at this man, Mitzi. He hasn't twitched a muscle since we entered the room. I think he's paralyzed. That's... That's impossible! He's lying to us! He's faking it! Do something! Talk for God's sake! I need you to answer me! I need to know! He won't answer you. He can't talk. Then... How did he post all that stuff online? What the... I think I know how. See that little device on his left eye? I've heard about these. It's a controller. It seems the only part of his body he can move is his eyeball. Controller connected to the computer tracks its movement, allowing him to... What? That's ridiculous! How do you even know such things? I'm a nurse? I've seen these before. Well, I've seen eye-controlled wheelchairs, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work with a computer. Jesus. So... That would explain the whole Eye of Adam thing. That would. He really is just the eye. But 
No. That doesn't change anything. He must die. Okay. He but... deserves nothing more. Okay, I, I agree, but um, don't use the gun. No, don't use the gun! Don't use the gun! God damn it, I'm having flashbacks from like second chapter. The, when Liz told us about the fire and the oxygen from Spark. There are oxygen tanks in this fucking room. You are going to pull the trigger and burn us all. Do not do it! You will kill us everyone here if you fucking pull the trigger. What? You arrogant shit! I will fucking do it! Don't Just do it! Tell me one thing. One thing. Do not fucking do it, Mitzi. Why? Why did you make Jack kill himself? You're gonna, he's gonna make you kill yourself if you pull the fucking trigger. You're gonna kill yourself, him, and frickin' Susan. Don't do it. And hell, all the oxygen you break, kill it about everyone else in this building, too. guy and Jesse? Yeah, that was his name. If he's upstairs, he's gonna get his ass blown off. Pull the trigger. Here. Don't listen to the fucker. No. Fine. It'll be a pleasure. Fuck, no, Mitzi. Ready to die, scumbag? No, do not. No, look at the oxygen tanks. I... Look at these oxygen tanks. I don't think it's a good idea. What? Why not? I'm the one holding a gun here. They're explosive. And I will blow this bastard's brain out. As soon as he looks at me. You hear me? Look at me! I want you to see what you've done. The pain you've caused me. Mitzi, that's not what I meant. Just put the gun down for a second. No! No. I can't do that, Mrs. A. I'm sorry. This is something I have to do. I have to! Can't you hear that hissing sound? These cylinders are clearly leaking gas. Please stay out of it! You'll make a whole room blow up! I don't care! Just leave me alone! You lied to me. You never said you wanted to kill him. Now, wasn't that quite obvious? What did you think I wanted to do? Have a coffee with him? Chat about the weather or, or politics? For God's sake, I'm here because this son of a bitch needs to die. If I don't kill him now, he'll just carry on and more innocent people will lose their lives. Do you really want that? Because I don't. Fine. Kill him, but don't use the gun! Use something that won't make a spark. This isn't the way to do it. Just turn these computers off instead. No! He doesn't deserve to live after what he's done. And who are you to serve justice like this? Do you really want to kill an unarmed, paralyzed man? Why are you doing this, Mrs. A? I thought you were my friend! That's what I'm telling you not That's to! That's exactly why I'm doing this? Thank you! Even if we survive the explosion, how will you be able to live with yourself? I won't have very long to live with it. I'll manage just fine. Without his father, he's freaking harmless. Without his father, he's harmless. He was the one who supplied him with all this technology. He fulfilled his every single wish. I know this guy's rotten bad. There's no excuse for what he did. But he will be punished for it. Trust me. Yeah. They'll put him in some stinking nursing home. He'll live his life like a vegetable. Stuck to bed. He'll have time to think about what he's done. Or? And he'll never see a computer screen again. Isn't that enough? Or you just leave him in this room. He said, do it. He wants to die, and I want to kill him. Well, let, let him die slowly. Let him die slowly. Turn off his computers, take away his oxygen, just lock him in his room. He'll starve to death. Slow, painful. 
hurt anyone else? He wants us all to die. Can't you see that? Isn't that what he's been preaching? Yes. A joint suicide. That's why he wants you to shoot him. So we can all get blown to pieces. Yes, exactly. His final act. The work of his life. Are you really going to give him that satisfaction? Remember what you said about feeding the troll? That's exactly what you're going to do if you kill him now. No. If you're right. Please put it down, Betsy. Put it away. You should leave, Mrs. A. I'd never want you to get hurt. Oh, God damn it. But I'm not going away without this fucker dead. Even if that means I die too. Mitzi, have you lost your mind? You're going to sacrifice your life for this scum? He's a parasite! A worthless, evil piece of shit! It's not like I've got anyone to live for, is it? I'm right here! What? Right there. What about your mother? Your family? She's dead! What? Her mother's dead? Yeah, I lied. I always lie. I grew up in an orphanage. My family never wanted to know me. The only person that cared about me was Jack. And he's dead! Fuck. Yeah. Happy now? So get the fuck out of here and let me do what I got to do. No. I care about you. Do it for me. Oh, thank God. Come on, mate. It's been a long day. Let's go home. We've won. Have we really? Yeah, just take his eye thingy off. Trust me. I know we have. Take his eye thingy oh. off, leave him to rot. I'm the cat lady. Damn right. From now on, I win every single day. <laughs> well, you should take his eye thingy off so he can't do anything. You just left him there to friggin' rot. And smack him with that burger that you still got in your inventory. Or take, his, take off his eye and shove the burger in his mouth and let him choke to death on horrible overcooked fast food because I can't use a microwave to save my life. It's me, again, Ooh. talking about my ordinary little life, as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Things have changed here since Mitzi's death. What? Oh, right. Fucking cancer. I'll never forget those last few weeks. It's a horrible way to die. Stuck in a hospital bed with no hope and whole life to pass you by. Six months ago, I lost the best friend I'd ever had. But at least we knew it was coming. I had time to accept it, just like she did. And I can only be glad we spent that time together. I still miss her, though every day. Did I ever mention I got into all this because of her? Oh, what? I opened her laptop the night after the funeral, and there it was. A friend request, over a year old. A little gift from behind the grave. I met some people. We go out sometimes, and I'm not alone anymore. It turned out there were others who felt like I did. I talked to them, tried to help.
So she's turned into basically the anti eye of Adam. And now I'm writing this blog. Yep. I must confess, yesterday was bad. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. But I woke up today feeling better. Maybe I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness. Maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me. Asleep. Waiting. And when it'll hit me, it'll hit me hard. Is it? Grave. Whose grave? Hey, she left flowers. Does that mean she's okay with flowers now? Or. Hey, whose grave was that? Her husband's, her daughter's, or Mitzi's? But if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, Mitzi's. it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then, you meet someone like Mitzi, who will just smile at it all. Now, I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. One day I'll get there. I know I will. Even if it takes me not nine, but nine hundred lives. You open up your heart to all the things you feared before. You're keeping him alive. You are my star.
So, that was the cat lady. I still love the music. And, yeah. Um. The music that didn't stay for the whole credits. So. Well, it gives me time to do this, I guess. Sounds by internet, various internet. Okay. So, um, yeah. That was interesting. Really, really interesting. Huh. At least the ending I got wasn't terrible. Any key to live. <laughs> okay.